fall fruit is here and I am so excited about it. To celebrate its arrival, I am going to be telling you how to store all of your favorite fall fruits. So we all know that we should eat seasonally, but you might not have ever really thought about why you should eat seasonally. So I'm gonna tell you a few reasons why you should. First of all, any in-season fruit is just going to taste better. It won't have been sitting in storage for months on end or have it having to be imported in from somewhere far away. So it's just going to be fresher and it's going to taste better. Second of all, it's going to be more affordable. Again, since it's not being shipped in from somewhere far away, it's going to have less of a cost to get to your table and less of a cost passed on to you. Third of all, for the same reason as the last one, it's going to have less of an environmental footprint since, again, it's not being shipped in from somewhere far away. There are so many delicious fruits and vegetables in season during the fall, but specifically today, we are going to be talking about cherries, pears, peaches, and apples. And these are some of my favorite fall fruits. I'm sure that you fall in the same camp too. We typically don't think of cherries as a fall fruit, am I right? But these moon cherries from Semmel are really, really special because they ripen in late summer and we get to enjoy them just into the beginning of fall. So we're including them today. Since these cherries are so very special, let's tackle their storage first. So cherries are great because they can last for much longer than you might even expect in your fridge. So typically when I buy a bag of these delicious cherries, the first thing I do is give them a rinse and then I store them either in the same bag that they came in, another zipper top bag, or a glass container with a couple of paper towels. Those paper towels are going to help absorb moisture and keep it, that moisture off the fruit and help the fruit last a little bit longer. Then they go into your fridge in the crisper drawer where they can stay for at least a week. I've stretched mine all the way up to three weeks before. All right, let's talk about apples, another kind of hearty fruit. So apples will be just fine just sitting out on your countertop for up to a week. So if you bought enough just to last you a few days, don't worry about just leaving them on the countertop. If you do want to extend their life a little bit, consider putting them in the fridge where they can last closer to two or three weeks, kind of like cherries. Peaches and pears, on the other hand, you're gonna treat these fruits similarly and they are much, much more delicate. In fact, you've probably heard the expression bruise like a peach and that's an expression for good reason. If you bought peaches or pears that are not ripe yet, leave them on the counter until they are ripe, and then move them into the fridge again in your in your crisper drawer where they can last typically a few days if you really, really bought them when they were underripe, maybe five days or a week. For all of your sliceable fruits, they're going to stay freshest if you hold off on slicing them until you're ready to eat them, which I know can be tempting. Apples will be a little bit hardier that way. If you do want to slice them ahead of time, toss them in a little bit of lemon juice so that will help prevent them from browning and then pop them back in the fridge. And that's it. Here's to making sure that no fruit goes bad sitting on the counter this fall.